Now when I walk around with this smile on my face, I know that I got the ability to change the temperature in the room when I walk in. So regardless of what I'm going through, y'all don't know that I ain't go to bed till 5 a.m. last night. Y'all don't know what I got going on in my personal life. All y'all know is when I show up, dang, that man energy was amazing. That brother showed up and he helped to make this a better experience for us all. And I'm saying there's power in doing that. There's power in not wearing what it is that we're going through. That's how you conquer it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another lit video. So as you can see from the title of this video, today is Friday. And that means it's money making Friday. So y'all know the biz. Also, it is Exotica Friday. That means Exotica is in Chicago. And my club is actually out there per performing, out there promoting our club. And if you don't know what Exotica is, don't be alarmed because, girl, I did not know what Exotica was before I started working in this, like, industry. Exotica is basically, like, a convention for, like, yeah. So a lot of um, OnlyFans girls go, a lot of, like, that type of thing go. So a lot of clubs go to promote their club my club is one of them they're out there they're doing their thing i didn't want to go to the convention just because i feel like i like to relax do my makeup and do my own thing and then later on i'll go to the club so we're gonna see how today goes you guys are gonna come along with me today i did film two years ago exotica i'm not sure if i filmed last year i'm pretty sure i did but um yeah i'm pretty sure it was like a decent night so we're gonna see how much we make today last weekend was pretty good for me i literally had like rooms back to back and as you can see my makeup is already done this is the lick and i showered i shaved did my makeup and as for my hair because i'm not gonna not do my hair like look at this as for my hair i am going to go to my mom's house in a bit because i had a um like a bubble braid i ordered it off amazon and i shipped it to my mom's house so i could get it today because my ass always slacks so we're gonna go pick that up and do my hair in a bubble braid it's a 36 inch bitch so i'm gonna be swinging that bitch like on stage stop playing with me stop playing with me but let me show you guys ouch the bag that i got so this is my new bag that i got for work it's so cute it's from akira and hold on the lighting doesn't do its justice hold up hold up okay that's better i got it from akira and i wanted something like this because one is hard so you know and then i love glitter it looks so freaking good and a zipper is a must because i do have another one and i'll show you guys one second let's go to my living room real quick okay so this is the one i currently use and as you can see it doesn't have a zipper it's super cute but it's like faded right there i mean who cares because it's like a money bag but it's so small inside if you guys watch my videos bro tell me it's not always filled as fuck and like i'm scared because the money be dropping look at this like it be falling out of here I'm gonna show you guys how I clean my room. This is how she's looking right now. I just washed my whole covers and everything, so it's giving fresh. And then my makeup desk. Honestly, I feel like my makeup desk will never truly be 100% like perfect. And here's my closet. I don't like the wooden doors, but my breath dolls up there and you know i have double doors and i don't like that so i put that over it and this side cute it's kind of plain but it's okay and yeah and then this is where i'd be like just practicing my dancing but yeah that's the moves for tonight hopefully it's gonna be a good night i know it's gonna be a good night i know it's gonna be a good night it's gonna be an amazing night every time i do my makeup since i'm like always looking down like you know my nose tends to get like runny especially if i eat hot cheetos my nose gets runny but anyways i hope if you guys are a dancer you guys have an amazing night as well just keep pushing keep hustling keep grinding don't give a fuck about what anybody has to say or think about you anybody else's thoughts are never gonna 
affect you and should never affect you because you're there for a reason so if you feel some type of way or if you feel like oh i'm not getting like i'm not really in my bag today or i'm not making a lot of money just stay focused okay don't lose that and just go to every customer and really hustle and be on your grind bro like there's so many nights where I'm just like, oh, you know, like I'll get out of room and maybe like it'll be dead. But it only takes one customer. It only takes one customer. So don't like feel down about it. OK. All right, Betty. So I got there two hours after open and instantly hit the floor, made $60 within the first five minutes. And then within the first 10 minutes of being there, I booked 30 minutes for 250. Right after that, I got another 30 minute for 250 with the $200 tip from someone else. And then I went on stage. This is my stage money. Throughout the whole night, I was literally doing rooms back to back. Overall, I believe it was like five to six rooms. One of my last rooms was 250. And then he ended up making this very strange request. Stay tuned to see what his request was because he tipped me $600. Girl, that blue sweater. Where is he? Maybe he left. I want to see him someday. Okay, you guys. So, I'm going to turn down my heater a little bit. I'm off work. I'm in the parking lot right now. But, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit because my car is warming up. And I have a little bit of a drive. So, today was so freaking good literally i manifested that shit i'm sorry for cursing i'm just so freaking happy i don't know how much i made and i don't want to give you guys a, a guesstimation right now but it was so good i believe i had like six rooms so freaking good i'm so blessed i'm so grateful it was such a good night and at first, like when I got there, because I believe I got there like at um, at 1212. So I hit the floor maybe like 1220. And as soon as I hit the floor, I got a $20 dance. Boom. He didn't want a room. Okay. I went to the next guy. $20 dance. Boom. With that guy off the $20 dance, I got 30 minutes with him. Boom. And then I went back on the floor, got another twenty dance for a twenty dollar dance for somebody else, and I booked a room with him. Thirty minutes, boom, and that's all I remember. But it was so freaking good. And then I had one of the rooms, bro. Let me put you guys down. One of my rooms. Why is this on? Okay, one of my rooms. I had 30 minutes for 250 and i look so good still it's that setting spray girl anyways my 30 minute room i booked it and he tipped me the room was 250 he tipped me 600 yes girl we did that and then i went out and then i hit the f no i went on stage right after that like two girls after and then a dude that fell in, like, in love with my personality and stuff like that. He said he seen me on social media. So he got a $20 dance. And he was like, when you go on stage, I'm going to make it rain on you. I'm like, okay, period. So him and his boy, because his boy also thought I was pretty, they went on my stage set. And then um, they made it rain. So I was like literally the only bucket of that fucking the past five hours. <laughs> And then I went off. I did my thing. I don't remember what the hell happened next, but it was so freaking good. We're going to do a money count when we get home or probably tomorrow when I wake up and stuff. Because right now, my girl's in my house right now. And I'm going to go home. I'm lucky hungry. I don't want to wake her up, my loud ass. But, oh, yeah. And then there was this girl that came and she was sitting in like VIP with her man or whatever. And I kind of noticed her, but like I was on my grind. So, you know, I didn't really like go up to her because I seen like a couple guys coming in. So I was waiting for them or whatever. So, yeah, I was waiting for them for like the guys. And she passed by me. She didn't look at me. So I didn't really think anything of it. But on my last stage set, she came up to me and like started throwing like money 
and she was like i watch you on youtube and i was like and then i ended up going up to her towards the end of the night well it was like within the 30 minutes because after that she got a room with one of my girls and then she got out and then i went up to her and then she got she wanted to do 30 minutes with me but it was like literally 10 minutes left so she gave me 200 and i did the 10 minutes and her and her man tipped me 50 but we were just like talking and stuff like that so if you are watching this video girl thank you so much i love you so freaking much thank you for coming out coming to my club coming up to me letting me know that you're a supporter i truly appreciate it and i hope that you enjoyed our conversation in our room as much as i did you're such a dope person and i hope that i do end up seeing you again because i told her i hope that you come back because um she kind of wanted to like work here or like seeing the environment and stuff like that um so i hope that we do end up seeing each other again because you're so freaking dope and thank you for making my night like sometimes i get nervous you guys may be nervous coming up to me and be like i watch you but girl i get nervous too okay especially because she's been like there for the past like two hours or something and then like the last minute she's like oh i watch you and that makes me kind of nervous because like <gasps> you know especially because my last stage set i didn't really try because they gave me some bogus songs and i don't know i always like get so angry at myself when i don't try on my stage sets but it's like i was like just over it because my stage sets none of those were my songs and you know at this point it was like only two couples or whatever so i was like eh you know i'll still move my body but i'm not gonna like do the most but yeah overall it was a good night i'm gonna go ahead and head home already so i will catch up with you guys later okay you guys so this is a recap from last night's opening and excuse me i look crusty when i got home i literally jumped right in the shower i started filming for tiktok and then i fell asleep so yeah i woke up at like 1 50 it's 3 29 right now i have to go to lover's lane to get stockings and like stuff like that i basically gave you guys a recap last night <laughs> but i got a crazy request i know you guys always wonder like what do you do in the rooms and like stuff like that and when i tell you guys this request was probably the most craziest i have fucking ever been asked to do okay so this man had got a room with me and he ended up asking for me to fart on his face he literally wanted me to fart on his face and i was like what He's like, yeah, I want you to fart on my face, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you can imagine, like, my reaction. I'm just like, no. He's like, come on, I'll pay you $400. And I'm like, he had already tipped me 200 He was like, I'll pay you 300 And then I was like, what? Like, mm. he was like, all right, I'll pay you 400 So... He ended up tipping me $600 for a $250 room just so I could fart on his face. Did I do it? Yeah. <laughs> I fucking did it. But it was like a little ass fucking fart. Like the most smallest fucking fart. Because I couldn't fart. Like, the fuck? And I'm over here trying to like fart. And obviously if you don't have to fart, then nothing's going to come out and what the fuck i i six hundred dollars shit for a fart that's nothing you know people i'm sure people are doing way more for six hundred dollars let's be for real so yeah it was like a little fart but i mean i got my six hundred dollars so in total off him i made six hundred seven hundred eight hundred and fifty I made $850 in like 20 minutes. But um 
the rest of the night was pretty honestly i was busy the whole entire night the whole entire night i was busy like i was on it um it was like slow but at the same time there was like people and there was like quality people you know i believe i booked like five or six rooms um so i was like doing my thing i was just pretty much in my own little bubble i don't really talk to much people like obviously i did like say hey to some girls but other than that i was in my own bubble um and yeah but I did end up filming for TikTok as well, so I have to edit that. And then I just posted a video of like my night routine as soon as I get home, like my night routine, like after that or whatever, after a long shift of like hustling. So if you guys want to know what I do when I get home, then check that video out. It's gonna be on my TikTok. Then check that video out. It's gonna be on my TikTok, Jennifer V23. But today is Saturday, and I'm hoping today is way better than yesterday. Yesterday was pretty good. I still haven't count my money yet. Excuse me. But I'm pretty sure I made my goal of $2,000. And, yeah, I'm just so freaking blessed that... Excuse me, I just burped. I just ate a freaking sandwich. I'm so happy yesterday was good and hopefully today's gonna be better but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here because i have to go to lover's lane right now i already showered and everything so i'm gonna start doing my makeup on live um it's 3 34 so i'm gonna go to lover's lane then i'm going to probably clean my car that's what i need to do i need to clean my car and then probably it to be honest with you i don't really got much to do today so yeah and i'm pretty sure well no i don't know if i'm gonna open the club today but i will be there for sure and also i think i've mentioned in the beginning of my video that exotica was yesterday or this weekend so i thought girl so i thought it's not it's next weekend my bad my bad but yeah that's pretty much all for today's video hope that you guys enjoyed it and if so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one deuces